are below yep. the seasonal average. So yeah, it's chilly in the afternoon. It's chilly in the overnight hours as well. And we could even see some frost overnight. So certainly be prepared for that, especially if you're up in places like the San Fernando Valley, Santa Clarita Valley, and also up into Ventura County Valleys as well. Here's a shot from Long Beach and actually a beautiful day out there today. If you're talking about the clear conditions, you can really see a good shot of the ocean out there. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. In fact, for lots of sunshine, but that's also making for some cold overnight temperatures, especially coupled with the, the light winds out there. So we do have a frost advisory that is in effect for Ventura County Valleys. And this goes on from about three o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock. So if you have plants, pets might want to bring them inside tonight. Looks like temperatures could dip down into the 20s overnight. We could see below freezing temperatures for several hours at a time. So certainly be prepared for that. And we could actually see 30s a uh, fairly widespread overnight tonight in most locations. So here's a shot right now of your radar and you can see uh, not a cloud in sight. So all those clouds have cleared on out of there, leaving us with clear conditions today. So lots of sunshine, dry but cold out there as well. So we're going to continue to see cold temperatures into the overnight hours. And as we head into the next couple of days, temperatures are going to start to warm up just slightly, but then we bring in the rain. So once the temperatures start warming up, then we bring in the wet weather. We could see rain and even some snow starting Friday. That's going to continue right on through the weekend. So right now we're just dealing with that cold, dry air mass in place. And we're also watching out in the Pacific. We got a couple of systems that actually are expected to work its way uh, towards our area, and that could actually bring us some wet weather. So not just the wet weather, but also the cold air rushing in that could make for some mountain snow. So certainly ex waiting for that snow up in those ski resorts could get some over the weekend. So from Friday right on through your Saturday and Sunday and even into your Monday as well. So here's a look at some of your overnight temperatures. Plenty of 30s out there, 32 degrees. So right at that freezing mark there for Simi Valley up into the high desert there. We could dip down into the teens and it looks like temperatures are going to stay in the 30s in places like Chino Hills. Ontario up in Apple Valley. We could dip down to about 24, 21 degrees in Big Bear. So certainly needing those layers in the overnight hours once again. As we head into tomorrow, though, temperatures slowly starting to warm up there just by a few degrees. So we're bringing those temperatures back to where we should be around this time of year. So more into the mid to upper 60s, running through most of the Inland Empire. You can see places like Long Beach, Huntington, temperatures ranging from the low to mid 60s, about 67 degrees for Northridge and in Los Angeles tomorrow. Warm warmer for a few degrees, about 66 degrees, Santa Monica, about 65. So here's your five day and you can see temperatures staying uh, fairly similar the next couple of days. Then we bring in that chance for rain by your Friday that continues into Saturday and Sunday as well. And those overnight temperatures again, they're going to be very cold tonight. Then things will start to warm up though as we head into uh, the next couple of mornings. But so for the valleys, temperatures reaching about 67 tomorrow, those overnight temperatures dipping down into the 30s once again. And then we bring in that wet weather by the weekend. Back to you. All righty.